This is the worst. Okay, okay. Just that guy right there screwed me over many, many times. And I don't appreciate it. Oh, right here. That is the... These are the worst pits. Okay, this is my least favorite room in the game. Alright, actually, I'm gonna check the map, because I think I know what I'm doing, but I really want to make sure, because I don't want to have to go through these rooms more times than I have to. Yeah, I totally missed two missile tanks. Okay. Okay, okay! Oh, the wave beam makes this a lot better. But it's still awful because of this guy. Oh, the knockback from him. Well, it just unfairly hit you and you'll fall in the pit. I, ooh. I hate when games have legitimate design problems. Like, not glitches, but like things like that. It's, it, it irks me. Grinds my gears. You know, that was a big thing that people said for a long time. People probably still do say that because of the Family Guy skit. Is Family Guy as funny as I remember? Stop talking about adult cartoons. Oh my god. I need to stop. I can't... Why do I do that? All the time. My... My... Second video. That's what I did. It was... It was a weird... It was a weird video. How many subscribers do you think I missed out on by making my first few Let's Plays boring as hell? I didn't mean to make those. I meant to make golf boring. I didn't mean to make pinball boring. I'm kind of upset that it ended up boring. I mean, the, uh, maybe it is It is kind of funny that I was serious about pinball. But... Oh my god, I love pinball. I really do. That's not an exaggeration. Oh, part of the problem with the lit wave beam, if it misses, which it's likely to do, it, like at close range, even, then it'll kind of mess you up and get, let you get hit and get that knock back. Okay, this is where I got the wave beam, right? Yes. I think. Okay. And also, you can only have a specific amount of shots on the screen, and they are really close together, and... And I'm, I do like how it's called the wave beam, because it waves, you know? Like, they originally uh, is in the debug mode that... It could send out greetings, like it was like Samus's computer, you know, for a ship. Why don't you see Samus's ship until Metroid? T Ooh, I'm not spoiling that. You don't get to see her badass ship, and I keep forgetting out the screw attack. I could have just blazed through all those guys, but I didn't do it. All right, I think it's here that I need to get the two missile tanks, and then we can finally head to the dungeons. Ooh, I want to head to those dungeons so badly. You can destroy those red, those little red balls. It, do I think that's a necessary detail? Yes. Because you, the rippers, you can reposition the rippers and get them stuck in a different path. Yeah, here's the two. Oh, we have... Oh, with this last missile tank. We have cleared out Norfair. And after I kill this... What are they called? I feel like there's a D in their name. They start with a D or something? God! I can't remember that enemy name for the life of me. Or the ball. Because they're ridiculous. I don't think I missed any enemies. I believe there are ten throughout or Norfair. The Polyp. Squeaked. That guy. The Dragon. Ripper 2. Um, the Mela. Is this a fun conversation to debate about? I haven't done anything exciting this entire Let's Play. This Metroid. Do you like the feeling of Metroid? How it's all lonely and desolate and... I mean, there's always hints of other people. You're always talking about other people. Other people send Samus on her mission. But... Ooh, it's just so spooky and alone and there's only the monsters and... Metroid Fusion... Still keeps that, but it lacks it at the same time. We just got the... Was that only one? Hold on. Actually, let me count. Five, ten. Five, ten, okay. Five, ten. 
15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 60, 65, 70. Okay, okay. I should certainly have 70. Okay, the only thing I've got, gotten in Norfair is the Norfair Ice Beam, which I don't need. That is not required for 100%. I could go back and get the Brinstar one. I mean, I mean, what do you call 100%? Anyway, there's no actual calculation. It's the closest thing to 100%ing, like, like, acknowledging 100% since Zelda, like, it expands on it, because there's specific pickups that go away, just like hard containers and stuff in Zelda, but the beams don't go away. So maybe, I mean, maybe you never have to get the wave beam for 100%. I don't know. I guess you just mostly need the 255 missiles. Now you might be wondering, oh, we only have 70 and there's three areas left in the game and two of, or one of them does not have any collectibles. What do I do here? Oh, okay. Oh, that's right, that's right. Okay. Wait, was this a... Oh, where the hell am I? Oh! I'm all the way back here! Okay, good. I thought I was a lot more to go. I will show you the way out of Norfair, because I want to keep talking. Am I saying anything interesting? Not particularly. Okay, this is the type of instance you got, and I still got hit by him. Oh, don't you dare respawn over... Okay. Stop getting hit by him. Stop it. Okay. Do, do, do. Oh, I hate that guy. He'll knock you back in the door if it's still open. That's a big problem with enemies. I hate knockback in this game. It is awful. It's not that bad in Zelda, but oh, in this game. Did I talk about how it's a mixture of the two? Like, on purpose, they acknowledge that? Isn't that such a good idea? God, Nintendo is just full of geniuses. And now we can't freeze the, the gamuts. Gamut, that's another one. The Novas. That's, um... I lost count. Oh well. Now I gotta memorize the map for Hideout 1 and and the enemy names. Where is this? Okay, this is that hallway. So that's the screw attack. Okay, up there. God, this is nerve-wracking. Oh, and I showed that room I didn't show because I went down from the screw attack. Okay, that's nice. So I've showed every shown every room that is necessary up to this point. I mean, I will. I, I, I might show every room. I don't know. There are some absolutely useless rooms, I think, in the dungeons, like with no pickups. So I don't plan on showing those. I really have no desire. Did you notice? Oh, whenever there's a like a when I'm in between doors, my missiles and like the little bars between the E in and the nine nine, they change color. Oh, I just had full energy. I feel good. I'm extremely overpowered for Hideout 1. They they do not want you to have the screw attack or the various suit yet. I don't think. It's implied, at least. Because you're supposed to not go to Norfair first. You're supposed to go to the Hideout first. But, I mean, this way it makes more sense. Just because the Hideout 1 is in Brinstar, I mean, so is Norfair, sort of. I mean, they're not in, they're just... You know what I mean. The the gateway is in that area. What a, what a fabulous conversation. This has been going on for almost an hour. I meant like 53 minutes. God damn, I love this game. Ooh, I really want some chili, actually, for my birthday, but I haven't had it since. So I'm about to start my sophomore year of college. Is that exciting to everybody? All right, uh, where we came from is up here. Oh, we are making it out of North Bear. We're doing it. Should I cut this out? Nah, I won't cut it out. Not yet. I'm sure you're sick of seeing the path between North Bear and Brinstar. No, don't. Oh, look at that. Even if you stand in the lava in Norfair, the awful lava, you don't take that much damage. I'm sorry. I was appreciating the music. I really need to take a break because <laughs> this is awful. 
Oh, something else we've talked about. Metopia is amazing, and oh, I can't wait for the true masterpiece of the year. You all know what it is. Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle comes out in 12 days, and I might be able to afford it because I got money yesterday from the Veterans Affairs. The Veteran Agency? Administration. Admi the Veterans Administration. That's it. I'll see you back. Just go out here, go up, go left, get in the blue hallway, and go. just keep going left. Find doors that go to the left. Oh, did you see that? I just killed a Rio with the screw attack, and it was so satisfying. And now that I don't need this anymore, oh, I can just kill you, I can kill you, and I'm maxed out on everything, and I've got how much energy? What is that, four? I've got like 500. You never go to a full number, it's always something 99. I've got 499. Now, you, as soon as you could access the bombs, which is immediately, assuming you get the morph ball, all you need to get in here is the morph ball. Oh, and missiles. You need five missiles to get the bombs. And you can go to, don't hurt me, I wanted full life whenever I got in the hideout. Mini boss hideout one, that's where we're headed. Ooh, we've cleaned out two areas. Can we clean out the last two before the final? Oh, you can stand on this, oh yes. All right, all right, fine. All right, there's nothing through there. But I'll give you a little sneak preview of one of the greatest 8-bit songs of all time. Oh, just listen to that. I'll see you next time when we do Mini Boss Hideout 1, also known as Hideout 1, also known as Craig's Lair, also known as Craig's Hideout. Goodbye, I am LP Master 6.